Hey folks, hope you all are doing well. I'm Karan Bandal from Econus Site. And in this video, let's talk about what would it take for you to be in the top 1% in your country? That is, what amount of net worth one needs to enter that exclusive 1% club? Now net worth, to explain in simple terms, it's not your salary, not the money in your bank account, but an accounting of your assets and liabilities. For example, let's say Ramesh makes $40,000 a year. He has $1,500 in the bank account. He owns a home that is worth $300,000 and holds a home loan or mortgage against that home with a remaining loan balance of $200,000. He also carries an education loan worth $1,000. In this case, Ramesh has over $300,000 in assets and over $200,000 in liabilities, giving him a net worth of over $100,000. The number has nothing to do with how much he makes, but he knows that he has amassed a wealth of over $100,000 for himself so far. The last decade witnessed a remarkable surge in wealth creation. One may naturally ask how much one needs to be considered wealthy. In popular culture, American shows like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire or the Indian equivalent of that, Kaun Banega Karodpati, have been received quite well by the masses. Now the prize money you get even in the Indian show has increased over the years to around $1 million when adjusted for the exchange rate. So being a millionaire, that is having a net worth of at least $1 million, can be a benchmark for individual wealth. By 2022, 1.1% of the world's adult population were millionaires. So if you are a millionaire, you are in the top 1% club, globally speaking. But in your own country of residence, not necessarily. Take Monaco for example, a tiny nation of roughly 38,000 residents, 30% of whom are millionaires by the way. Here, you need at least $13 million to make it to the top 1%. Luxembourg and Switzerland follow at number 2 and 3 where you need around $9 million to $11 million to be in that club. The United States comes in at number 4. Keep in mind, US is the wealthiest nation and has a large population when compared with the top 3 nations on this list. So that kind of skews the number downward for the United States. In Asia-Pacific region, Singapore leads the pack with the required net worth of over $5 million. In mainland China, if you are a millionaire, you are in the top 1%. Finally, in case of India, if you have around $175,000 or 1.5 crore rupees, you have made it to the top 1% club. Some of these wealthy folks take their wealth creation to the next level and become ultra high net worth individuals. A person who has a net worth of at least $30 million or more is an ultra wealthy individual. These folks are multi-millionaires. As of the end of 2023, there are around 600,000 ultra wealthy people on this planet and this is how they show up on the map. At the top, accounting for more than a third of the wealthiest, the United States is home to over 225,000 ultra wealthy. China with almost 100,000 ultra wealthy folks comes in at number 2. These top two economies together account for over half of the global ultra-wealthy population. Germany follows and takes the third spot, revealing a pattern that some of the biggest economic powerhouses enable wealth creation and make way for the highest share of the wealthy. India, the fifth largest economy, ranks 11th on this measure with over 13,000 ultra-wealthy residing in the country. Such is a concentration of wealth that top 16 countries out of the 195 account for around 92% of all ultra high net worth individuals globally. In terms of regions, North America dominates, followed by Asia and then Europe. Finally, the most exclusive club is that of billionaires. These are the people with at least a billion dollars in net worth. $1 billion is $1,000 million. 
As of the end of 2023, there are around 3,000 billionaires in the world. It's a very small group that includes people like Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Mukesh Ambani, Jeff Bezos, Jack Ma, and so on. Here, China leads with over 800 billionaires, closely followed by the United States at number two, and India shows up at the third spot with over 250 billionaires. Again. The wealth concentration is such that China, the United States, Europe, and India together account for over 75% of the global billionaires. All these wealth numbers also raise a question about the wealth inequality in the economies of the U.S., China, India, and so on. What I found fascinating is that the global population is roughly 8 billion. About 25% are below the age of 15. So roughly. Global adult population is around six billion. Of that, 1.1 percent are millionaires. So we have around 66 million millionaires. Of this small group, again, a touch less than one percent are the ultra wealthy. And of this exclusive population, half a percent are billionaires. To wrap it up, I will say wealth creation takes place. In an environment where risk-taking and free enterprise is encouraged, Bill Gates and Paul Allen founded Microsoft that provides value to the masses. Jeff Bezos created Amazon that again provides value to its users. Larry Page and Sergey Brin with Google, Elon Musk with Tesla, Sam Altman with ChatGPT, same thing. It's not easy, and these creators get handsomely rewarded. I'm not sure most of us think in that way. Most of us do not focus on creating something of value for others through the work that we are passionate about, and it shows in the numbers. Maybe that's why it is so difficult to make it to the top of the wealth pyramid. I hope you found this analysis interesting. I'll speak with you again next week. Until then, take care.